Hi, it's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you for welcoming me. And I uh, look forward to at least having a really brief conversation uh, just in terms of who we are and what we're doing. So uh, before I get to this slide, uh, just as a quick background, uh, I represent the Digital Therapeutics Alliance and we are a group founded in 2017, really with the notion that across the board, internationally, locally, regionally, wherever we happen to be, we really do need to figure out how do we create a distinction between digital health technologies in general and digital therapeutics more specifically. And how do we really ensure that there's a level of rigor and robustness across all these products so that way patients and clinicians and end users can really trust what these are doing, uh, know that they're gonna actually deliver on these outcomes and so forth. So right now, DTA, we have about um, almost 50 companies across uh, a variety of different regions, uh, really representing about 15 countries right now. And our work primarily focuses in North America, Europe, and Asia Pacific. Uh, and we've definitely been seeing uh, new areas evolving uh, that have been really exciting for us to see this ecosystem. Um, and this really, this, as mentioned earlier, a new category of medicine really take shape. So DTA, our goal really is focused on how do we really create that foundation for this industry. Uh, that involves a lot of different things. Um, one of those topics really is this idea around what even is this ecosystem? Um, and as discussed in the last uh, presentation, digital health technologies really is broad and diverse in nature. And that's really exciting. Ooh, let's stay there for a sec. Great. Um, so what we're looking at, uh, digital health technologies does encompass everything from the enterprise support all the way through the clinician services, and then has a wide variety of notions related to patient facing technologies. And uh, by background, I am a pharmacist. And I think I've definitely noticed that when patients come into a pharmacy, they recognize that even if a single tablet is blue and they get another pill that is blue, they don't make the assumption that they're doing the same things. Uh, digital, much different. Uh, it's very rare for me to see yet a, someone come in and talk about digital technology and make the assumption that they are able to do different things. So even though uh, tablets and pills and other things can come in the same color, same source, same format, the notion still exists that they are different and unique. Digital, if it comes from an app store, if it's on your phone, it's hard for people, I think, to still get their heads around the idea that these are different and unique and providing a different value. So where I really focus is really on that side of the therapy intervention and therapeutic delivery to a patient. Uh, I'm not talking about remote patient monitoring today or diagnostics or even wellness and fitness products. That said, these products, digital therapeutics need to interact with many of these in a uh, really multi, uh, multiple disciplinary notion of uh, platform, but we're really focused on this space. So to the next slide, uh, the definition of a digital therapeutic is something that we uh, have established a while back and really have seen a lot of uptake of this uh, internationally across different regulatory agencies, payer groups, clinicians, and even patients. So um, as mentioned already, we're looking at products that are using software that are actually delivering a clinical intervention to a patient and that intervention is making a claim to prevent, manage, or treat a disease or disorder. As such, if you go to the next slide, these are the core principles that we've really developed as an industry. And what we've basically really aligned around is this idea that if you are gonna be using software to actually treat a patient's medical disease or disorder, these are the 10 principles we believe as an industry that all products should adhere to. And they really touch on a wide variety of areas related to what is the claim? How is that intervention being delivered? Um, but then also what are the best practices in terms of manufacturing? How do end users engage throughout the entire design and development process? Um, an idea that a tablet does not need to speak Spanish, uh, but if you have a digital therapeutic in a Spanish speaking population, it needs to be applicable to that population. It also needs to be used in the context of their everyday life outside of a traditional clinical environment, most likely. Um, patient privacy and security are incredibly important. So we're looking at everything from HIPAA in the United States to GDPR in Europe and a variety of other security protocols and certifications. Um, and then I think really important here is if you're making a medical disease state claim, you have to be able to demonstrate its value. So uh, we're really looking at this notion that all digital therapeutic products should undergo a clinical trial, publish those outcomes in a peer reviewed journal, so that clinicians, payers, and others who would be using them can really assess what the level of evidence and rigor is behind this product. 
Um, and then the really cool thing, digital therapeutics develop and deliver real world data on an ongoing basis. So not only do you know when the patient is using it, how they're using it, what the outcomes are, you can also see if the product is functioning as it should and really use that to develop the product um, over time and iterate it to really continue improving it. Again, another feature that a medication may not have the ability to do. So all that to say, um, DTA, our goal is really to work with regulatory agencies, with policymakers, with payers and other decision makers, really to look at how can they create the right pathways to enable this industry to really have access to patient populations that they're intending to treat. Um, and then healthcare providers and patients, how do we really work with them along the process of uh, engaging with, implementing and utilizing in a really meaningful way these products. So much more to say, but I'll wrap it up there.